Good morning, everybody. I know we all like starting the day off. Let's see in the truck. So here it is. All nice and clean still, waiting to get back to work. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome here. Hit that subscribe button. I've been making daily videos of my life as I drive my truck across Canada and the United States for the last 13 years, pretty much every day. There's over 3,000 videos, as you can tell by the number on this vlog right now. If you want to go to my channel, you can go back all the way to the beginning and see what we were up to 12 years ago, 13 years ago. It's all in my playlists. Stick around. So I'm on vacation time right now. I'm at home. So I'm just coming here to check on the truck. I had a few things to drop off. Today I go and pick up our camper trailer. It was out on a rental. We uh, use it as a rental, uh, like rented out in the summertime. This is the last one. So after this, we're actually uh, looking into different options with it. And we can talk about that later maybe. But it is out near Sprague, near the Minnesota border in Manitoba, like the far southeast corner of Manitoba. Uh, the renters there have had it for a week. Today is the last day. I gotta go pick it up right now. Why don't you come with me? It's a beautiful drive down there. Thank you. Have a you yeah. too. Oh, never mind. Oh. <laughs> Keep on going. Okay. <laughs> Another great experience at this Tim Hortons here. Wow. Two in a row. We're here in southeast Manitoba. I, I need to start explaining where I'm at and who I am a little bit better for the new people on the channel because new people are joining all the time. You guys are all welcome here and go to my playlists, like I said earlier in my last clip. Get to know me a little bit better. Leave me some comments down below so I can get to know you too. You guys all know me, I have no idea who you are. Ah, yeah, that's not true, I know who a lot of you are because a lot of you leave comments every day and I recognize your usernames. And uh, that's always really cool. That way we can sort of develop a relationship and not just a one way thing here, right? Okay, so we are loaded up on Timmy's. We are now headed south down Highway 12 in Manitoba, south of Steinbach, towards Minnesota. I'm gonna grab that trailer, gonna bring it back here to town. And this afternoon, we're actually bringing it into the local RV place here in town. And, uh, oh man, I can't do it. It's just shaking too much. There we go. It's a beautiful drive down to Sprague. kind of nice to be doing something like a bit of a drive in my personal vehicle but we've been doing a lot of driving because I brought the the camper down there a week ago and set it up for them now I'm going to pick it up and this last Saturday we drove all the way down to Bodette Minnesota where we rented a pontoon that took us right past Sprague as well so I've been up and down this road this is the third time on my holidays I already got my tow mirrors on but I don't have the trailer behind me yet figured I'd slap them all in there at home then I don't have to worry about fiddling around with them when I get to their uh, location where the camper's at. They had, uh, or I had set it up for them like I said a week ago. Uh, it was on their property there. It was private property and it was like a family reunion get together. So uh, I don't want to like mess around there too much. I don't know if they're busy today taking stuff down or whatnot. I just want to go in there, grab the trailer, shake their hand, say thank you very much. Hope they had a great week and pull it on out of there. We have other things to do uh, this afternoon. But like I was saying, I wanna bring that trailer past uh, uh, Holiday RV in town. I'm getting a, a trade-in appraisal on it, hopefully. See what uh, it would be worth. We could either trade it in uh, or sell it. We don't use the trailer, right? So uh, we're looking at our options, possibly getting a pontoon or a boat in the future. Just. Uh, you know, we want to know what the numbers look like. You don't know until you ask, until you go out and uh, look into it, right? So we're going to go see what the numbers look like, see if it's a hard no, see if it's a, all right, let's do it. See.
Chief hits a, yeah, brother. You know what I mean? Hulk Hogan style. Maybe it's uh, next year. Who knows? Won't know until we try. So that's where I'm going. I'm going to hook on, bring it straight there, let them take a look at it. And then uh, I'll probably go and park it away in my shop. And then Britt's dad and stepmom are coming down for supper tonight. So i got to be home for supper. Looking forward to seeing them again. It's been a little while. It's been a little while. He's been uh, busy trucking while I've been busy uh, working at home. This is supposed to be holiday, right? But no, no. <laughs> There's no holidays when you're an adult. No. <laughs> but it has been nice getting stuff done because if I don't take the time to get this stuff done, it just never gets done. So we are being uh, productive. They're coming down uh, tonight and then tomorrow we may go and uh, talk to Holiday RV there and see what kind of deal they could come up with us for us see what we'd be looking at what the numbers look like see what see if they drive with us you know feel it out a little bit and if everything lines up I mean we could we could be saying goodbye to that camper in the next week and welcoming home a boat I mean that's if you know all our dreams come true you know me I'm a dreamer I always keep dreaming but always be prepared for the answer to be no. So I am prepared. If the answer is no, the answer is no. Uh, then we just keep on keeping on, right? Everything's got to work out. I'm just coming up to Sprague here now. This is a nice little town, actually. Never been through here till I delivered the trailer last week. Nice little town in here. We're right by the Minnesota border. Right, right close to Lake of the Woods and the uh, Minnesota Northwest Angle that area, just on the Canadian side. Welcome to Sprague, Manitoba. Tiny little community. It's a border community, so the residents here actually go down to the U.S. for healthcare, because it's closer than the hospitals in Steinbeck. And I believe Canadian healthcare covers them when they go across the border for care. Which is interesting, right? So if you call an ambulance here, chances are the ambulance is probably coming from the U.S. We're literally right above the border. But I don't know that for sure. I mean, that's what I've been told by friends. You'd have to ask people who live here. Pretty sure I remember how to get there. I haven't had my GPS set or anything this time. There's only so many roads here. So. You go down a road once, but yeah, you take the road to get there. Which road? The road. Ooh, had a little bit of rain here. Just around the corner. Should be pretty quick. Just suck in the slides. Unless if they put it all away for me already, but they didn't have to do that. That's that's what I'm here for. I'll take it all down and uh, pull it on out of here. That way they didn't have to do anything. That's part of the deal. I don't know if you can see it in my mirror there. You're on top of my head right now. But uh, the trailer is behind me. We're on our way back. A little bumpy ride now. <laughs> You'd think it'd be smoother. Some weight behind you. Nope, that's just on a semi truck. <laughs> this trailer isn't even that heavy. It's like 7,000 pounds net, I think. Plus, you know, everything you put in it. Back in town, and we're pulling into Holiday RV. I'm not sure where I should park. Construction vehicles over here. Huh. Usually that's where we would park, over there. Hmm, I don't know where to go. I guess I'll go all the way through here. I'll turn around 
in the Tim Hortons lot. I'll just have to go make a spot over there with all the construction people. I just pulled Old Blue out of the shop here. We're done over at Holiday RV. We had some, uh, we talked some numbers. Of course, you know, never quite happy with the numbers. It's, uh, it's not a hard no right now. It's a, let's see what the wife says type of deal. It's not that bad. It's, it is less than what we wanted to get for it, but I kind of expected that on a trade. If you trade it in, uh, because they're still going to want to make their markup on it, right? So we'll keep you, we'll keep you up to date on that whole boat endeavor, boat exciting thing. It's still a possibility. It's a possibility. We haven't hit a roadblock. We haven't hit a hard no. We've just hit a, eh, I kind of figured. Kind of figured I'd get less than I wanted, but maybe we can talk them up a little bit. I don't know. I mean, I think we, I think we should get more for it than they offered. So uh, we'll go back and talk to them in the next couple of days again. I'll bring Britt along with me and uh, we'll do our best to negotiate. And maybe, just maybe, I'm gonna park the camper in here for now, tuck it all in. But maybe we can switch that camper out for a pontoon. Maybe not. We'll see. 100% of the questions that are not asked, the answer is no. But if you just ask the question and go look at some numbers and check it out, ask and ye shall receive, you know? Can I get a boat? Maybe. We'll see. If not, I'm prepared for the answer to be no. We'll hold off and wait. For now, let's see if we can get this thing back in here. I have everything like marked on the ground then. So it should be easier than last time. shop is back to its normal state chaos <laughs> and who knows maybe we'll be pulling that thing back out of here right away to go get rid of it and trade it in for a boat but maybe we won't so we're just gonna assume that it's not gonna happen so that we don't get disappointed if the answer is no so maybe but also probably not those pontoons I was looking at, this is a 23 foot trailer. You can see where it comes up to here in the shop already. All the way like from the back there, all the way up to here. Plus the tongue comes out to here. The pontoon's about 20 to 24, 22, 22 feet long. It's one foot shorter than this, but the motor is behind it, right? So it'd have to be a little bit further forward. This would be very close to where the front of the boat would be. Plus you have a really long tongue on a pontoon trailer. So the tongue would probably come up to here. Or something but it could still fit easily what do you think old blue you want a new friend you getting tired of that camper is he is he still bullying you how could you let him bully you i know he's a rockwood Ooh, but you're a kenworth right you're a kenworth what's that what oh he mocks you for not being a peterbilt rocky that's not very nice could mock you for not being a Cadillac. Kids, I tell you, are always fighting. Besides, Blue, Kenworth is the Cadillac to Peterbilt. Right? I'm sure everyone in my comments will agree with me. First class. You want to see a first class Peterbilt? I'll find you a Kenworth.
she doing? Making special french fries for the baby boy. Special french fries? For sweet potatoes. Mm, very, very, very fancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very french and fried. Oh, oh, oh. So what are they called? Sweet potato fries? That's... Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What you doing now? Making us dinner. Oh. Do we get sweet potato fancy french fries too? Nope. None for us. He gets all the good stuff. That's not true. What's, what are you making here? Just those, uh... Greek shrimp bowls. You know, with the shrimp and the rice and the veggies and the homemade Greek dressing. Sounds very healthy. It is. It's one of your favorite meals. It is, yeah. It tastes delicious. It's a lot of work to make. Thanks for going through all that work. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, so you can chop these things up. Eggs. It's not time consuming. Well, it's time consuming. It's just not hard because you don't actually have to cook anything besides the rice. Mm. As long as you get pre cooked shrimp, you're in business. And I did. Mm. So I was just telling them we're uh, probably thinking about uh, talking more about a boat in springtime, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think we're in a good spot right now to do an impulse buy and just run over there and grab one trader trailer in and. <laughs> but it's tempting. It's tempting, but they didn't they didn't give us what we wanted for the trailer They didn't offer what we wanted. I guess we could go back there and haggle them a little bit and try to get more out of them Oh, I have no problem doing that. Yeah <laughs> We could But half the season's done already. You know, we might even be able to go in there buy a boat in January and get a pretty good deal We might yeah buy one in wintertime After Christmas after Christmas. If it yeah. wasn't for Theo well, you know the pre-Brittany and Josh, pre-parenting Brittany and Josh, we would have run in there right away. Yeah. We gotta be smarter nowadays. We got somebody depending on us and all. Yeah. But we wanna get him some good memories out on the water. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, probably next year. And back to my resting place. This has got my butt print in it. It belongs to me. It's been great. <laughs> so yeah, super tempting. Oh, we are impulse buyers like that, but we also, we know our limits. We got a bunch of things to take care of first financially this year. Like we have a financial plan for the next year to be almost completely out of debt, out of a lot of our main debt by spring next year. And uh, other than our house, obviously, a mortgage just takes a little bit longer now. We just bought this house uh, last year and no, we weren't cash buyers, I mean, who is nowadays, right? I'm not a rich guy. I'm just a regular truck driver, just like you. I don't got a ton of money in the bank. I wish I did, but it is what it is. We want to get this house paid off probably in the next 10 years or so and uh, get it paid off in half the time. I like to pay off my loans and debt uh, early. I don't, I don't have any problems with debt. Some people say no debt, zero debt. Well, it's very hard to get around our, in our society nowadays without any debt whatsoever. People need cars, people need homes. Right? And people tell us, you know, you should wait and save up till you can buy a pontoon in cash. Like, well, it sounds great when you say it. Yeah, you should buy your fun recreational things with cash. Yeah. You got seventy thousand dollars in cash just to drop on a boat? Like, I, I could, I could uh, save up the money and buy it in cash, but by that time my kids would be grown and out of the house. And then all of those memories that we wanted to make with them on the water, they're gone. You can't ever get them. So it's, it's to each their own, right? Some people like it, some people don't. I have no problem with taking out a little debt as long as you got a good down payment, first of all, to show that you're committed to it. And you pay it off a lot faster than the term. So let's say the term would be four years paid off in two. Uh, if the term is, you know, like a house, 25 years, paid off in 10, 15. That's what I try to do. Uh, it's a good thing 
in life to have a good credit rating. And when you borrow money and pay it back quickly, banks see that and they're uh, a little more eager to give you money next time. And next time might be an emergency. There might be like a, a big thing that happens to your house or something or like a semi truck and you just, you're, you're in a terrible spot and it just happened at the worst time and you need to borrow some money from somebody just to you know keep life going, either fix your house or fix your truck and just get going. But if you got bad credit, that makes that a lot more difficult. So it's teach your own. I'm not here for financial advice. I'm not gonna give you any. Don't listen to me for any financial advice. I'm also not seeking any. I think that we're in a good financial spot and uh, you know we're well on our way to being debt free. We have a plan. So that's, that's that. Just uh, we're, we're getting the temptation bug. We're, we're getting tempted by those boats. <laughs> we will get one. We will have a boat, but uh, it won't be this year. We'll talk about it again next year. I, I was thinking though, if you buy it in winter time, there's got to be some kind of like discount price for buying it in January, right? We'll have to go talk to them then. But it'll be after Christmas for sure, January, February, when we start thinking about it again. Well, actually, I'll be thinking about it the whole time. You know what I mean? Until we actually like get serious about, okay, let's go talk to a sales guy. Let's let's talk to the to the people that be. See if we can make something happen. Yeah. It's fun to dream, though, right? Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. Just another vacation day. I have an, a few more days off yet, so there's a few more days uh, out of the truck, and then we'll be back in the truck. If you're more into the trucking content, I know I probably should have told you this at the beginning of the video. Maybe I did. I can't remember. <laughs> But go to my main channel, click my, my channel name down below. Go to my main channel, go to my playlist, and there's like 11, 12, almost 13 years of daily vlogs of me trucking across Canada and the United States that you can go and watch. And uh, I should tie you over until we're back in the truck next week. Take care, everybody, and I'll talk to you again soon.